Hello everybody, this is Sarfraz Ahmed Jazi and uh, I am going to start a dipstick test for the diagnosis of visceral leishmaniasis or Kalazar. This is our dipsticks. We have, I am using here four dipsticks for the test. The one, two, three and four. These are the four dipsticks. Uh, I am using four different serum samples, two from Kalazar patients and two from healthy persons. So I am taking here, I am marking here in a first dipstick it's P1 means positive one, second P2 positive two, now negative one, those are the healthy controls and negative 2 now these are the serum samples we are using p1 p2 n1 and n2 two negative samples and two positive color samples we will dilute these serum samples up to 2000 times the one thing we are going to do is uh, we will dilute these serum samples in two steps first 100 times dilution and the second one is 20 times too. so in a total it's 2000 times diluted so we can start here for 100 times dilution we will take uh, 5 microliter the serum samples and 495 microliter wash buffer this is our wash buffer um, in each and every step we will wash our steps with this wash buffer this is nothing but this buffer saline with 0.05 percent twin 20 detergent we mark here this is p1 p2 n1 n2 p1 p2 n1 and n2 so we will take 5 microliter of this is P1 5 microliters for first 100 times dilution this is 5 microliters Five microliter from P2. From healthy serum, five microliter N1. and N2 5 microliter of each serum sample here now 495 microliter of wash buffer so that it will become 100 times diluted this is our wash token
Now we will botic this uh, 100 times diluted serum samples. are 100 times diluted serum samples. This was our P1 sample, P2, N1 and N2. To dilute it further, we will take 50 microliter of this 100 times diluted samples for P2 For secondary dilution, 50 microliters from this uh, 100 times diluted serum samples. Now we will make this nine fifty microliter of the same wash buffer. So finally, we have uh, four different samples with 200 times diluted in Tris buffer saline and T20, twin 20. Positive one, positive two, negative one, and negative two. We will vortex this. Now, these are the strips we have already marked here, P1, P2, N1 and N2, positive 1, these strips, now we are going to dip this strip in positive 1 serum sample. Similarly for P2, N1 and N2. Uh, make sure that uh, uh, the volume of this diluted serum sample should be enough to completely dip these S strips, the nitrocellulose membrane part. After half an hour incubation of these strips in uh, serum samples, we will wash these strips in washing buffer. Two times washing with five minutes incubation. This is the wash buffer.
फर्स्ट वॉशिंग सिंपली वी रेस्टेड स्ट्रिप्स टू और फोर इन अ रो विद दिस वॉश पॉपर We have completed first wash. Now similarly, after five minutes of incubation in this wash buffer, we will incubate this strips in secondary antibody. Now five minutes is over, and we will wash strips second times. Similarly, as we did in first washing. if we have many number of samples we can wash four strips simultaneously we we'll keep these strips in fresh wash buffer for 5 minutes incubation meanwhile we can make secondary antibody that is good anti human igg hrp conjugated we can uh, dilute this antibody directly we are using 2000 times dilution for this antibody so we are making uh, 6 ml 6 ml of wash buffer Six ml of wash buffer and three microliter of good anti-human IgG antibody HRV conjugated.
so after two washing of these strips in wash buffer we are now we will incubate our strips in this hrp conjugated antibody now the strip is in hrp conjugated good anti human igg for half an hour half an hour incubation in antibody is over we will take this this sticks these are the washing we will wash these strips in washing buffer similarly as we did in after serum dilution two times wash in washing buffer with 5 minutes incubation in wash buffer one wash is completed after 5 minutes we will repeat this step after 5 minutes incubation second wash in wash buffer can change the wash buffer so two washes in wash buffer is completed we will keep this here for 5 minutes the last wash we will give in 100 millimolar tooth buffer slime only remember the wash buffer we have used earlier in all those steps during washing and in dilution of serum samples and uh, our antibody is 100 millimolar tooth buffer slime plus 220 as a detergent but here the last wash we are using with 100 millimolar tooth buffer slime only without 220 in a fresh beaker we will pour tbs and we will cleanse this so that we can it the detergent part is there so this is 100 ml trees buffer slime only without any detergent this is third 
और फाइनल वॉश So we have done all the washing steps. Now we will make substrate to finally get the color. After all these washing steps, we have to now prepare the substrate solution. That is dab diamnobenzidine with H2O2. We will use the same buffer that is 100 ml TBS uh, which we have used earlier in our last washing step for substrate making. So 100 ml is buffer saline without detergent. I am making 6 ml. We can use this graduation. 6 ml of 100 ml buffer. I have already read this dab for 6 ml 3 milligram of dab so this is 3 milligram dab three milligram of dab in <coughs> 6 ml of 100 millimolar trees buffer saline as it is a light sensitive we will wrap this with a foil Now dab is completely mixed. We will add H2O2 for 6 ml 3 microliter of H2O2 peroxide. Our substrate, is, our substrate is ready. This is 100 ml trees buffer saline plus dab diamnobenzidine plus H2O2. This is our substrate. We will take distilled water 
to stop the reaction after color development so this is distilled water now i am dipping this these strips in the substrate this is distilled water to stop the reaction now we will wait until we get the color so i think within a minute color has already been developed and we will stop the reaction in distilled water for a minute after 1 minute we can take this off from the beaker and let the strips be dry after 1 minute we can see here in p1 and p2 those samples where are positive samples we can see clear two bands the upper one is a test line and the lower one is control line our experiment is valid because we have found control bands in all the strips but at the test line these healthy samples we cannot see any band any color but in positive samples we can see a clear band a clear brown color at the test line site so these two we can confirm from this test that these two are positive samples and these two are negative samples although in this experiment it was known that uh, uh, which one is positive and negative samples likewise we can use unknown samples to diagnose this leishmaniasis from these deep stick test